All right, everyone, this is Ross Ratty, and welcome to another episode of Fruit Talk. This is the podcast-style video that I do for you guys every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock Eastern. We talk a lot about fruits and a lot about vegetables and, you know, how to use a lot of this stuff in the kitchen. We're still waiting on Dom to get his act together. We can do this podcast episode with him. Uh, that's going to be a lot on the kitchen aspect of all of this. Um but we also like to talk about growing these fruits. And tonight's episode, we're going to be talking about where to get the plants to even grow the stuff. Um, you know, obviously, if you're doing a lot of annuals, you want to start out with seeds. We can do an episode on on seeds. But um, fruit trees and fruiting plants, um, you can find them all over the place. And there's a lot of online mail order nurseries that will ship these plants right to your house. And uh, I've used a lot of them in the past. I've purchased from a huge array of nurseries and there's definitely a big difference in quality and price with the products are that they're offering, um, the varieties they're offering, their customer service, uh, you name it. I mean, these these things really can be quite low on the totem pole or really the, the top tier. I wanna give you guys some great recommendations None of which are sponsoring this uh, this episode of Fruit Talk. But uh, yeah, maybe someday in the future. Um, I also do want to mention before we get going is that I have a lot of cuttings available on FigBid right now. This is the website that a lot of fig growers use to purchase new varieties of figs. And um, if you want to be a part of the fig hobby, this is kind of like the it place. I mean, there's rfigs.com. There's some Facebook groups. There's communities. But um, to find the the rare and interesting and the and the tasty varieties, this is really where you want to go. Figbid.com. And um, you know, I wouldn't really recommend anywhere else, to be honest with you, in terms of in terms of figs. Um, this is as best the best as it gets. However, you can get some quality plants from some of these nurseries I'm about to mention that are actually accurately labeled and are of varieties that um, are really good. Um, I found that once I've learned more about figs, I've realized that there's a lot of nurseries that really know absolutely nothing about figs for the most part. Um, especially about the varieties that they're growing. They're really not in tune with any of it. Most of them will order from Agristarts, and um, those are tissue culture plants. They're all the same varieties. The tissue culture plants really don't do well um, in terms of figs. They're kind of really, most of them are a joke. Um, so for the most part, you got to get them from people who know what they're doing, who have, you know, good sized trees have the right varieties uh, and that's where figbid comes in and i have probably close to i think over 50 listings right now if i go to my other listings here i have 47 different varieties of cuttings listed and then three different varieties of trees listed currently and some of these are for bidding it's kind of like ebay where you submit your bid and then at the last second the person who has the highest bid wins but i also have some down here uh towards the bottom which are buy it now prices and these you can buy them outright get these guys in your collection um, and start them as cuttings for the season um, so that's my big little plug there Let's move on to some of these big mail order nurseries though. Edible Landscaping is my number one choice. I just love the people there. Michael McConkey, uh, they have also a guy that really helps them out. Um, I think he may even be a big part. He's a, definitely a big part of the, the nursery. His name's George. The Both of them are great people. Um, they really um, know their stuff. They are in it for the right reasons. Um, they even put out some videos on some different things and I uh, I always enjoy watching those. Michael's such a cool and interesting guy. Um, yeah, I just really respect these guys for what they do. They stand by their plants. Um, 
you know, they have a nice guarantee. Across the board, though, they, most of these nurseries have great, um, you know, um, what's the word exactly? A guarantee behind their plants. Um, they all have pretty much the standard thing that you're looking for. And that's what you want is that information available and you can read about it and you can um, and see if it's really for you. Um, you know, I would say ordering plants over the internet is actually very successful. Um, in fact, I could argue that getting a, a tree in the mail is better than getting a tree locally at some nursery that brings in their trees from who knows where. Um, a lot of these nurseries that are local don't even grow their own plants. So it's really, um, it's really upsetting in a way. And you kind of have to rely on these online nurseries. What I would say, and also they have just a great selection too. Like these nurseries just have a huge variety of the varieties that you want. You don't want the basic nonsense fruit that, yeah, it's good that you're growing your own fruit and it's going to taste better because you grew it, but there's varieties out there that are above and beyond. We talk about genetics so much on this this podcast that if you're in this for the same reason I am, is to grow the tastiest fruit possible, the tastiest food possible, you need the right variety. Um, there's no other way around it. Um, genetics are everything. So... Um, what I will also say about this nursery is that they have just about everything. Um, and they're also located in Virginia, which is really nice because um, I do recommend that you guys choose the nursery for the most part that's local to you. You want to find one of these nurseries here that uh, are in a similar location to you. If they raise their own plants, they raise their own trees – it's really good if uh, you get those plants and trees from someone local. And that's kind of where the distinction is. Yeah, you want it local, but um, you don't necessarily want it from a, a local nursery because they don't always grow their own plants. They don't always have the uh, selection here that we're looking at. Um, so that's really important. Um, so edible landscaping here, like I said, they've got just about everything. What I like to buy here, this is a great resource for figs. They have a great selection of figs. They have a great selection of pomegranates, persimmons. Um, they have pretty much the standard awesome varieties that you can find that have been proven to be successful. And um, I think that really goes a long way. Um, these guys won't sell you something that they don't recommend and they don't grow themselves. Um, so I think that's really important from a nursery is to really know their variety. I don't know anyone better than edible landscaping. Well, that's debatable, but I will say that edible landscaping does a phenomenal job at knowing the varieties that they grow and, and weeding out the varieties that they don't think anyone should grow. Um, I think a lot of nurseries will just have a, a catalog, have a set number of different varieties per fruit, and that's what they'll sell regardless of how good it is where they live. Um, it's kind of a shame. Another one that I didn't really bring up here, but One Green World is another one that's similar in my mind to edible landscaping. And uh, this is probably the nursery I would go to if I lived in the Pacific Northwest, that's where these guys are. They've got just about everything. They've got all kinds of weird and interesting fruits. Um, highly recommend these guys as well. Uh, again, stay local. Indiana Berry, this is, um, in my opinion, the best source, cheap and quality plants for getting specific types of berries, like things like strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, um, you know, th these things in particular, really, they really thrive with these things. They have them at a very affordable prices. They've got the bare rooting process down. It's all super high quality. And just about, they have pretty much every berry you can think of, all the weird stuff. It's all bare rooted. It's all um, really well done. Highly recommend them um, for anything berry. For grapes, though, there's an, a nursery called Isons. 
and they sell a lot of um, muscadine grapes so check them out for grapes and then also there's a vineyard or a nursery called double a vineyards um, they sell a bunch of plants um, and these guys do a really nice job for European grapes um, so it's kind of like very specific unfortunately you know, you could kind of break down every single fruit and say, all right, well, you know, this particular fruit, this nursery sells this one really well, and they kind of specialize in that. Um, it's really true. The the main potato lady, this this uh, nursery does really good with alliums and potatoes and root crops. Um, anything around that, these guys are, are amazing. Um, I've gotten huge... Um, Garlic bulbs from them, nice sized potatoes of interesting varieties that you normally can't find. They have it all here in terms of, uh, you know, your garlic, your onions, your shallots, your potatoes, the root crops. Um, getting into the actual trees, back into the trees, is that there is a lot of bare root nurseries out there. And uh, I think my favorites is actually Cummins for things like uh, your apples, your pears, your stone fruits. These guys really have it done. They do it well. Um, it's hard to beat these guys. You can make an argument that Stark Brothers is up there. But I'm telling you, these guys are way above mostly everybody else. I mean, the, the selection here is insane, first off. They have, it on, they have like every variety on every rootstock. They tell you exactly how much are in stock. Um, they have root stock that they sell. They have just just like literally every pear, apple, and stone fruit you can think of. They just do it really well. Uh, my second choice would be Adams County Nursery. And this is mostly a uh, commercial nursery. They sell these trees to actual um, orchards. But um, these guys do have a really nice selection of fruit trees. And... The quality is unrivaled. Um, I think the quality is probably even better than Cummins. And uh, that's saying something. Um, they're mostly sold out most of the time. So you really have to be on top of this. And it's hard to even get anything from them. But uh, they're probably the best in terms of bare root fruit trees you know that are temperate fruits you know the, the more common things like apples pears and stone fruits um, you've got just fruits and exotics and this gets a little weird here because now these guys sell mostly everything in pots and they sell them in big pots so here's like the big difference is that if you want a big potted tree this is the place to get them they're in Florida um, they have a huge selection of different varieties. They're really good about the varieties more than most other nurseries. Um, and they sell big plants. The only issue is that it costs more and the shipping costs more. So you want a bigger tree, it's going to cost you more. But, you know, there's no one that has trees like this um, at this size than these guys. And, and as well as they do it. Um and they've got like everything, you know, pretty much everything you can grow in Florida, they've got it. You know, citrus, which you can't ship out of uh, Florida, unfortunately. But they've got things like, you know, um, loquats and bananas and avocado trees and, you know, guavas and different things that do uh, pretty well down there. Um, so highly recommend them. I will also say that edible landscaping that we talked about in the beginning, they mostly sell their plants in pots. So, um, yeah, that's just something to note. Um, and the, kind of the differences between these, you know, like um, just fruits and exotics, edible landscaping only sell for the most part in pots. You've got Cummins and you've got Adams County, which are only bare root. You know, you've got main potato lady, which are only the, the root crops. You've got the people that sell the grapes. you got the people that sell the berries. You've got One Green World here, which I think sells um, in both pots and bare root. And then you have uh, England's Nursery here. This is um, 
a nursery that was pretty much started by I think a hobbyist, Cliff England. Originally was a ho- was a hobbyist and um, turned it into something that is really respectable and a lot of people use um, that are hobbyists. These, these guys have some of the best selection of persimmons you'll find. Um, and other weird and interesting fruits that a lot of people are not growing, a lot of people are not selling. Um, these are the. This is a great place for all the weird stuff that um, I highly recommend. You know, persimmons and jujubes and and something called chi, um, paw paw. You know, you got all kinds of weird things in here. Even things like um, uh, what's that fruit that I was thinking about growing? Um, quince. Here it is. So, you know, it's a it's a really nice selection here that Cliff does, and he's he's a nice person to talk to. He's very knowledgeable. Um, so those are really my recommendations here, guys. That's kind of a, a short and sweet video um, of episode of Fruit Talk here. But, yeah, I think it really helps you guys out. It goes a long way. Um, I'm sure all you guys are really excited here to kind of be thinking about, first off, what to purchase come up with a good plan, come up with a plan that's going to not only kind of map out what it is you want to grow, but what the varieties are you want to grow and where you want to grow it. Um, and really be, take your time on this. This is really the season though that you should start, of course, be thinking about it, but really narrowing it down and uh, placing an order soon because if you wait until sometime after January, things really start to um, disappear. They run out of out of stock very quickly. And, um, you know, these nurseries only have so many trees and there's a lot of demand. So it's really important to get this in now. And that's just my big, my big recommendation for you guys. Um, make a plan, get it in now. You know, here's the nurseries and, uh, and make your decisions. Um, let's see if there's anything else I want to touch on. Um, check us out, guys, on figboss.com. That's our blog. Um, consider s- supporting us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Ross Ratty. And also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, again, at Ross Ratty. Um, and again, here's all the listings here of the figs that I'm selling for you guys. I mean, there's so many varieties. It's just nuts. Um, some of them I've already sold out of which is crazy. Um, but pretty much everything that is listed is what I have available. Um, there will be some different varieties in the future, but again, those are going to be listed as we go on. Um, I want to thank everybody here for, for listening in on this episode. We'll talk to you guys soon and, um, I'll catch you for next week's episode. All right. Take care guys.